everyone, I'm Jasmine Kimbao. I'm a master's student here in the Civil Engineering Department at the University of New Mexico. I have two mentors, Dr. Kerry Howe and Dr. Jorge Gonzalez Estrella. They both help me and guide me with my journey here at UNM as a master's student. So for my research project, I handled two pollutants that exist in our environment. And these are microplastics and heavy metals, specifically arsenic and uranium. I want to understand the absorption behavior of these two pollutants if microplastic could potentially absorb heavy metals on their surface. We see and use plastics in our everyday lives, like plastic bottles, food packaging, and Ziplocs because it is lightweight and durable. However, it could turn into small particles, also known as microplastics, and get exposed in the environment. And this is bad because microplastics are really small and insoluble in water. This is a concern in the environment because large plastics could be entangled by marine animals like sea turtles and small particles also known as microplastics could be ingested by fish. The second pollutant is heavy metal. Both arsenic and uranium are toxic and bad in the environment and human health. Exposure to these heavy metals could damage your skin, your kidney, increase the risk of cancer, and many more. To understand the absorption behavior of heavy metal with microplastics, I divided my procedure into three tasks. For the first one, I tried to find microplastics in freshwater system in New Mexico, specifically Tingley Beach, Rio Grande, and Laguna Pueblo. For procedure one, we need to filter all the freshwater samples collected in New Mexico. This will then catch all the microplastics on the filters and these filters will be analyzed for detection of microplastics in fresh water. I will now show you how I set up the glass fit filter unit and how I filter the samples. Now I will slowly pour the water samples collected in Tingley Beach on the glass fit units. We're gonna wait for that to filter. I will then wash this bottle three times to make sure I got all the microplastics that could be in the sample. Then each time I rinse it, I'm going to run it to the filter again. The second procedure, I want to know how long arsenic and uranium absorbs into the microplastic surface. I perform this in batch experiment and I do it by putting a desired concentration of arsenic or uranium with microplastics in a mixer for seven days. I will then take some samples in those seven days and analyze the sample and how fast the absorptions happen on the microplastic surface. For the third procedure, which I haven't performed yet, it is about exposing different concentrations of arsenic and uranium onto the microplastics and understanding how the absorption behavior would affect this. So from these three procedures, I will be able to detect if there are any microplastics present in the freshwater system in New Mexico, I will also know how fast the absorption of arsenic and uranium onto microplastic surface. And lastly, I will know how absorption behavior affects if we're exposing different concentrations of arsenic and uranium on the microplastics. This study is important because the synergy of these two pollutants, microplastics and heavy metals, could potentially increase or enhance their toxic effects on human health and the environment. That is the overall summary of my research project. I'm glad I was able to share it with you guys. Thank you for listening.